good morning so being the first of december and it's the run-up now to the festive season i feel it could be beneficial if i give you a few tips on how to stay healthy through this festive season so i can give you some examples of what would be the best strategy for you to stay healthy, stay lean, stay focused, limit your stress and feel good about the, about the upcoming time to Christmas and the new year. So what is the one key factor or the one key model that will give you all those benefits? It is weight resistive training. Okay, so let's start you off with some real basics. You go into the gym with a flat, small muscle. Let's say you don't go to a gym. You just go and do some resistive training wherever that's gonna be. And you're gonna still go in there, still gonna enter it with a smaller muscle than you would when you leave than you would have when you leave. So, the physiological differences that your body will go through through that workout is adaptable changes through the stresses. So you're lifting a weight and you're doing it with repetition. So you're conditioning the muscle and you're becoming efficient at the condition. So your weight, you're lifting, for example, your bicep curling, a 10 kilogram dumbbell, and by the end of your two, three sets, you'll be lifting a 15 kilogram dumbbell for the same amount of repetitions. Now that is becoming efficient at the condition that you've established through repetition. So that means you've got a bigger muscle, right? Now, that process requires glycogen. It requires carbohydrates to do the work, okay? Real quickly, when you finish, your glycogen levels have been depleted somewhat. So your body does not want to shift that carbohydrate no more. It goes into another model. And the shifting pattern is going to be fat. So you are theoretically, physically burning fat. So when you finish the gym and you are recovering, you're actually burning more fat because you've got a bigger muscle. So if you want to stay lean in this Christmas period, then I suggest that you start lifting weights. Now, also, psychologically speaking, for your moves, inside your grey matter, you've got a little nuclei called the amygdala. That amygdala is responsible for loads of different, different chemical balances within your brain. And the one surefire way to stimulate that, that amygdala in order to send off the right uh, pathways towards your good, well, healthy being, it's going to be with weight resistive training. Because weight resistive training sets off a catalyst of different types of hormones that will stimulate your body into number one, feeling good. So that's your dopamine and then it's going to make you feel like you're unbreakable and that will be your endorphins and then it'll make you feel kind of happy that's your serotonin it'll make you feel warm inside good real pleased that you've achieved something and that's your oxytocin as well as that you've got your noroperipherin as well which kind of is the umbrella of all those and finally how does one stay healthy through the festive season through weight resistive training well we know bone health is vital and the one factor that can improve your bone health in regards to its density and limit the chances of shrinkage osteoporosis osteoarthritis if weight is weight resistive training through the calcium uptake and all of the physiological factors that you would go through with weight resistive training inclusive of the 
of the mineral uptake that you require to shoot in that bone and make it more healthier. So, if you want to stay healthy, if you want to stay lean, if you want to stress less, then what I suggest is weight resistive training. And if you don't know where to start, then it is a simple comment or it's www.trainwise.net and enjoy your 1st of December Sunday.